gay Mormon. Saying that is very hard for me because very few people in my life know that I am. And it's, it's felt like a, a deep burden and, and at times uh, demons because I feel like I can't express who I am and be who I am being in the church. However, I strive to do my best to attend my meetings and to be faithful in the church. I am one who, I came from Los Angeles to BYU and I served a missionary, as a missionary in the Dominican Republic in Independence, Missouri and had such phenomenal times in my life being very active and doing all that the the, the standards of the church and the requirements and attending the temple. I found as I've gotten older, I see the realization that I can't have what other members of the church have. And it becomes painful to attend church and to see the other members of the church who have families and have children. And they bear their testimonies about that and about the focus of the church and being on the family and constantly seeing and hearing others raise their hand to, st to share their stories about their children and their family and realizing that that's something I can't have in this life if I continue to stay on the path of being a faithful member. At the same time, I also realize that I feel like an outcast, and I feel like I don't know if that's my home anymore. And being a social worker, I realize how many suicides in Utah are attributed to gay, gay Mormons who have gotten to the point where they can't reconcile their faith with their homosexuality. And uh, they find that they don't have a home anymore and it becomes a very dark and painful place that they don't know how to, to get out of except for to end that pain. And I find that I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge a lot and that's why I've decided that I wanted to share my story and I wanted to, I wanted to find others like me to see if there's hope. They say that there's hope. And if there is, I want to share that hope with others. I recently came out to my mother about a month ago and, well, she was completely shocked, completely shocked. I, in my life, I've always dated guys. I've, I, I always had a boyfriend in high school and college, and I was engaged several times, but I was always afraid of our wedding night. What would I do? How could I possibly fulfill what he needs when I don't have that attraction to men? As a child, I was always a tomboy and always played with the boys. And when it became puberty, when I re reached puberty, that's when I decided to become more feminine and have some girlfriends. But I would never, ever allowed myself to have uh, any attractions or crushes towards people that I knew. And so all my attractions were towards celebrities or uh, professional female athletes, things that were not tangible in my life because I knew that I needed to follow the standards of the church if I was going to be an upstanding member of the church and to be able to continue to attend the temple and, and, and wear my garments. Um, but as I'm getting older, as I said, I'm 39, and uh, I know that I won't be able to have children. And it continues to get painful feel so lonely. I live alone and I go to church and I feel like I don't have any connections with others there and it, it gets hurtful when the subject of homosexuality or equality in marriage comes up and hearing the comments that people say because I think members of the church only think that that pertains to other people, that there aren't gay Mormons, and they don't realize how many in the congregation are. And they don't realize how they alienate them 
with their comments. And so I hope that somehow in sharing my story and others sharing their stories that we can realize that there are many like us, many. And we're all just trying to find our place in our home, in the church, because we love the gospel and we love the teachings. But we're not quite sure if, they're, if, if that's our home. So I hope that there is hope for all of us to have more understanding, to have more love, because I know I've had to come to the realization that All that matters is how my Heavenly Father feels about me. And knowing that He loves me unconditionally. And though sometimes I feel like this is a curse and I don't understand why. Maybe it's just mankind, them wanting to label us as something and making us feel cursed or outcast. I, I don't know. But I know that my Heavenly Father loves me and He knows me individually and He knows my heart. And it's my hope that others who might be in my same situation, who are on that edge, who may have the gun to their head, feeling very hopeless that there is, that it's going to get better tomorrow. I hope, I hope we make it. And I hope that this is helping members of the church who are not gay to understand and to love and to accept those who are. I didn't choose this. And it's the last thing I would want, last thing, because I don't want this kind of burden that I, that I feel. But I think there's hope, and they say it'll get better. So it's my prayer that this is something that gives hope to others. Mm -hmm.